Welcome to a new school year at Chabad Kaplan's Preschool. We are so excited to welcome your child on Monday morning. Here are a few important reminders for parents. Instead of making you sit through orientation, we thought we'd be creative and let you watch it whenever you have a free moment. So communication is the most important. It is foundational for cultivating and creating a very warm and nurturing environment. Our teachers want to be accessible, but their most important job is to be with the children. So of course, please chit chat in the morning. I want you to know teachers are open to hearing, uh, reading texts from you. Just know that they can accept phone calls during the day as their primary job is taking care of your child. As me for the director, I want you to know that I want to be accessible and available to answer any of your concerns and help you in any way that you need. Texting me, letting me know you want to chat or meet would be the best way. I accept emails, of course, and stop me in the hallway. I am here for you to make this the most best experience possible. And regarding communication with your child, your child would probably say, he or she did nothing or just played. So please remember to ask those open-ended questions. Who did you sit near at lunch? What did you build in the block center today? What was your favorite activity? That will help a lot. Regarding helping your child, please send your child in comfortable clothing, clothing that it's okay to get dirty because that helps them have a happy, fun day, clothing that they can help themselves when they go potty or learn to go potty. And regarding shoes, we ask for children to be wearing a sneaker, a running shoe, rather than Crocs or sandals so that they can enjoy their time outside. And we also ask for socks because otherwise they're busy during the entire playground time, taking out all the mulch that gets into their shoe and is bothering them, so your help would be appreciated. If you think your child's gonna have some separation anxiety, let us know. We will be there to help make a plan that'll be easy and put you at ease. When you drop off and pick up, we have some important things for you to remember. Firstly, it is mandated for us to remind you that no child should be left unattended in a car. So please, any anyone who has another child, please bring your child into the building when you drop off. When you come in, you'll need to sign your first name and last name in a more legible way. I can't just have a scribble because we are now applying for school readiness funds. So that is, again, something that is mandated of us and we need your help with that. When you come into the classroom, Help your child take out their snacks. Make sure that the snacks are labeled. Put them away in the morning snack bin, the afternoon snack bin, and the lunch stays in the lunch box. And you can put a cooler there so to keep everything at the temperature that is proper. Let's talk about snacks. It has to be of two food groups. Each snack has to be of two food groups. And Lunch has to be of four food groups. We really want to see children drinking water or milk and really avoiding any fruit sweetened uh, kind of candies or that maybe some that are considered healthy or whatever. But uh, sending in helpful snacks and lunches will help us in our efforts to teach healthy eating habits. Also remind your child after doing the lunch boxes that you're going to write a mitzvah note. Maybe you want to talk about that in the car. A mitzvah note is any good deed that your child did at home. We want to really reinforce the school home connection. So if your child um, folded a shirt, put away laundry, helped with the groceries, made his bed, got dressed by himself, whatever goals you're working on at home, we want to reinforce them and give them a big round of applause at school. So. That would be really nice to have a mitzvah note every day or almost every day. Let's talk a little bit about late stay aftercare. So drop off is at 8.30 a.m. and pick up is at 3.30 p.m. Parents need to pick up on time. And if you do need a late stay, you need to let us know in advance. We are open until 5.30, but that is when parents sign up in advance and uh, we need to change our teacher schedules. Please realize that when you are late, you're affecting our teachers' personal lives. They have lives out of school and we deserve to respect and honor them. 
Let's move on to talking about when your child comes to school and has a scratch, a boo-boo. Please let us know. It'll help avoid any or many uncomfortable positions that we can be in. If your child did not sleep well the night before, it would be so nice if we knew that before because it helps us help your child and it helps us understand when your child is acting a little bit different in the classroom. Rest time essentials are brought in every Monday and they go home every Friday to be laundered. Please remember to bring them. It is really important and helps your child have a restful afternoon, a break between the morning fun and the afternoon fun. On Friday, please have your child wear their Chabad shirt. You will find a new Chabad shirt in your child's cubby when you come in on Monday. And of course, if you have any other questions, anything else you want to talk to me, something I didn't address, look at the parent handbook. There might be some answers for you. Otherwise, my cell phone number is 941-544-8770. Please feel free to reach out, text me, call me, and I want to make sure that it is the best possible year we can make 2019-20.